morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Catio Chat this morning. Bear's going to take us out to the kitchen this morning. Here we go. And there's Miss Muffy. Let's get our lights on. There we go. Um, good morning, everyone. Good morning, kitties. Let's see what time it is. Ten after five, and we've got two weather kitties. All right. Good job. There goes Loki. He knows what he's doing. There goes Luna. <laughs> All right. Well, these guys are out on the catio. This is our catio. This is where we come every morning, pretty much. Ooh. And it's really fresh and cool. Oh, that is lovely. And that's where Luna and Loki are going to be, I betcha. And we're going to have Miss Puppy and Bear inside. Here's Bear. Hi, Bear. You want your chair? There you go, buddy. There he is. Chair Bear. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, here we go. This is... My morning with my kitties every day. Let's have a look at this little one over here. This is Miss Muffy. This is our super senior kitty. She's been around for a long, long time. Miss Muffy's almost 25 years old. Yep, yeah, here she's coming in for a pet too. There. There she is. She's in pretty good shape, you know. She's not very bony at all. Nope, she's in good shape for her age. Yeah, a lot of kitties do, don't make it that far. No, and if they do, they're not in very good shape. So she's very lucky. So I'm going to turn my coffee pot on. We've met everyone. There we go. And there's Miss Muffy. And there's Barry. Oh, she likes those bags. <laughs> That's her little safety zone. <laughs> and you can see why. She's quite a bit smaller than these guys. Hi, Bear. Would you like a pet? Oh, there he is. Bear loves to be petted. Yes, he does. And he's got golly wumpus feet, too. <laughs> there. Uh. Oh, got an itchy spot. Bear had a little mat under his chin yesterday. It's gone now, but it's probably still a bit itchy there. There he is with all his feet. Bear's a polydactyl, which means he has extra toes. He even has extra toes on his back feet, which is kind of rare. He's kind of rare anyway, I think. <laughs> And then we come down and see Miss Muffy. This little kitty, oh my goodness. She's just so cute. We got her in 1999, almost 25 years ago. She came home in my shirt pocket. She was so tiny. <laughs> but she's got so much spunk. Doesn't she, Bear? Gotta have spunk living with you. When you got a golly wampus for a brother. <laughs> I'm just going to peek out here and see what our outdoor kitties are doing. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, Luna's not on her chair anymore. There's Loki. There's Luna in the dark. What a lovely place for them to come in the morning. And they've been inside all night. Great place to cool off. And this is our DIY catio. We really wanted to build something for the Maine Coons. And uh, about eight years ago, we decided to use our deck. We didn't use it much anyway, so we sort of used it as a base. And, uh, and built this structure up above, and it's all fenced in and even across the top. So, nothing can get in and they can't get out. There, Luna. Yeah, it's, it's, um, 
really adds a lot to their lives, I think. Because uh, indoor cats don't really have much if they never get outside and never get any fresh air. Lots of fresh air out here. <laughs> oh, we're even up before the sunrise this morning. So quiet. We've had deer come up on the back lawn here, and uh, the kitties have, have experienced that even, so. <laughs> Bye, Luna. <laughs> She's so bright out here. And then we have the two that hang back inside, because they know the treats are in here, not out there. Right, <laughs> Beer? <laughs> Here's my big boy. You want to come in for a pet again? Ah, oh, there he is. There's a lovely boy. He's very gentle. Very gentle kitty. Unless you get him torqued up too much. <laughs> Which I have before in the past. When he was younger, he used to love to just kind of wrestle. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, he, uh, oh, there's Luna. Used to love to wrestle, but you can get oop, get yourself into a, a pickle wrestling with bear because <clears throat> if he gets too excited, like any cat, they will uh, he'll grab you with those mittens and pull you right in, and there's no way to get out. <laughs> I have learned a trick though. If I get caught. <laughs> But in the, the grasp of a cat, I've discovered if you blow in their face, um, it, uh, well, if you blow in their face, they let go basically because it startles them and it doesn't hurt them. And then they release you. <laughs> Don't know if that would work with a tiger, but it works with bear and he's kind of like a mini tiger when he gets hold of you. If he's too excited, you can get hurt. He's very strong. <clears throat> yeah. Bear's a strong boy. So, yeah. That's my trick. I blow in his face. If anybody gets... gets The cat gets them and is too excited to let go, just blow in their face. It works. <laughs> There's our Miss Muffy. Oh, she's... Oh, she's gonna get bombed by Luna. There's Luna. And now, Luna, you don't know... Okay, that's too much, that's too much. Good girl, good girl, Luna. That was very nice, but I can't trust Luna very much when she's too close to Miss Muffy like that. But it turned out okay. <coughs> There's Bear hanging off the table up there. <laughs> so this is my morning routine every day, every single day. Get up with the puts, turn on the coffee, and full conversation. <laughs> and now you're you're in it too. So this is my morning. Ah, oh, Miss Muffy's so sweet. And there she is. She's got the tiniest little face. <laughs> there. Yes, she is. Yep, she's been around for a very long time. And there's Bear on the other end of the table. Hey, buddy. I had to cut Bear's claws yesterday. Oh my goodness, he's got gigantic claws. They look like sickles, great big hooks. And uh, what I try to do is I, I do their claws when they're kind of sleepy or half asleep, half awake. And uh, if you're really good at it, and I guess I am, you can, uh, you get the claws done before they're entirely awake and trying to get away. So that's what I do when I trim claws. Oh, yeah. Miss Muffy, oh my gracious. What a cute little face she has. And here's another cute little face. Luna is a beautiful triangle. <laughs> yes, she is. She's a beautiful triangle. Yeah, I know. And Luna has a, a big vocabulary, too. Yeah. So, 
There we are. That's all my puts. One, two, three, and then four outside. We'll say goodbye to Loki. All right. Oh, here he comes. Loki's all finished with the weather report. Here he goes. <laughs> Hi, Bear. Let me just get a little peek at Loki. There he goes in his funny looking pants. <laughs> Loki's waiting for the groomer to come. We still haven't heard from him yet, but I'm sure we will soon. Anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for joining us. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.